everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all just how easy it is to make sausage gravy and biscuits. This recipe is amazing. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And you know, make it Gina Young style. It's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my sausage gravy and biscuits before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need some biscuits. Now, when we talk about the biscuits, you can make your homemade biscuits, and if you don't know how to make them, check out my video for how to make homemade biscuits. But today, I'm gonna be using frozen biscuit dough. We will be using the Pillsbury Grand's buttermilk biscuits, okay? You will need some flour, so I have a cup and a half of flour. You're gonna need my secret ingredient for my gravy, and this right here is oyster sauce. This is a tablespoon of oyster sauce. It really gives an amazing flavor for this gravy. You will need some butter. And also, you're gonna need some type of breakfast meat. I like to use either Bob Evans or Jimmy Dean's regular sausage, okay? You're gonna need some milk, and of course, you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you're gonna need. You will need some garlic powder. You're gonna need some onion powder, black pepper and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so when you're making frozen biscuit dough, the best way to get them to rise as they should is by putting them together. If you were to put them on a baking dish and you put them separate, they don't rise as well. But when you make them stick together like this, they rise nice, okay? So we're gonna put a few into our pan, ungreased pan. Okay, this is my cake pan, but this is just what I like to use when I make biscuits. Okay, you see how I'm going to make them touch? Just like so. I hope you all are having an amazing day today, as well as a great work week. All right, just like so. All of the biscuits are touching. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'll meet you over at the stove here in just a second. In the oven we go, 350 degrees, middle rack. Okay everyone, we have our biscuits in the oven. They'll only take around about 11 minutes. Let's go ahead and get this breakfast sausage into our pan. Okay, so these are one pound packages. I'm gonna use one full pound, okay? And then I'll be using a half of the other. So around about a pound and a half of the meat all right, I wanna get all that goodness out, just like so. I love ground breakfast meat. It's my favorite and I love the smell. Okay, so now we're going to take this half of this one here, get it into the pan, and we wanna chop it up as fine as possible. If you wanna use, some people might like bigger chunks in their gravy. It's up to your discretion whether you wanna leave it nice and chunky or if you want smaller pieces. I'm gonna go in and chop it up a little bit and once it starts to cook, it'll be much easier to break down. Once this starts to get nice, beautiful and golden brown, I'll be right back and show you what we'll do next. Okay, everyone, so I wanna do something a little non-traditional. I wanna put some little extra flavor into this gravy. Here's what we're gonna do. I want some fresh onion. So you can see, I want you all to look down here and see exactly how much onion I have. Not a lot, but that's enough to give this gravy an over the top flavor. Let's go ahead and chop it up. And you can see that I'm chopping it up very fine. No one wants to bite down into a huge piece of onion in your sausage gravy. But it's just really gonna mellow out that gravy and give it a great taste and people are gonna wonder, how did she get that gravy to taste like this? What did they do? Well, we put some flavor in there. We put some oyster sauce in there and we took the time to cut up some nice fine onion and throw that in as well. All right, so let's get this in the pan. 
just like so, cooking up with our sausage. We're adding that extra layer of flavor. Just a little bit is all you need. All right, you get the rest of this in and we're gonna stir this up just like so, beautiful. Okay, everyone, our biscuits are rising in the oven. The sausage is almost done. Let's take a peek in at it and we wanna chop it down just a little bit more before taking it out of the pan. Okay, so I'm deciding to kind of leave the chunks in medium chunks, not too small and not too big. All right, we can go ahead and get them out of the pan. And if there are any, if there's any oil left in the pan, that's great because all of that flavored oil is gonna to help to flavor our gravy. But if you're that person that you cook your sausage down, you don't have a lot of oil, don't freak out because we're gonna use butter. We're gonna use butter to help assist to make our roux that's going to make a great gravy. So we're not gonna rinse this pan out. The reason why is because this pan right now has so much flavor in the bottom of it. And when we pour in that milk, that pan is gonna deglaze and all of that amazing flavor from this sausage is gonna go right into that gravy. All right, so after I get this on here, I'll be right back to make gravy. Okay, everyone, you can see that our biscuits are starting to rise. I'm starting to smell them. They smell amazing. All we need to do is let them get nice, beautiful, and golden brown on top. Okay, everyone, so I want to talk about my secret ingredient, that oyster sauce. Like I said earlier, it's going to give you amazing taste with this gravy. But I know a lot of you are going to tell me, Gina, I'm allergic to seafood. My husband's allergic to seafood. Here's the thing, don't use it if that's the case in your household, okay? It can be successful without it, but if you wanna bump it up and you're not allergic, try it, you'll love it. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do, I want you all to look down in the pan so you can see how much oil was left from the sausage, which is just a little bit, but it's not enough to make gravy. So you see I have some crispy bits there. We have the oil. What we wanna do is get some butter right into our pan to start our roux. How do you make a roux? Well, what you do is you take equal parts fat, it could either be oil or butter, in my case, like I'm using today, and equal parts liquid. So I'm gonna use a half a stick of butter. That's all we're gonna need today is this half a stick. Add it with the oil that was left from the sausage. We wanna get this nice, hot, bubbly, and melty. And then what we're gonna do is we're literally gonna take the flour, put the flour in, and once we put the flour in, I'm gonna describe to you in detail what you need to do with that flour. Okay, everyone, so what we're waiting on is I'm waiting on my butter to turn into a brown butter. What happens to the butter and how does it get brown? Well, you, um, you wanna use a medium high heat and the milk solids that are in the butter will fall to the bottom of the pan. They're gonna get nice and brown and give you a great nutty flavor. So let's take a peek in and see if that's happened yet. Almost. So what we have right now is we have a frothy butter. Really quickly, you're gonna see the milk solids fall to the bottom. Once they start to get brown, we'll start to put our flour in. We have brown butter, time to mix that flour in. Okay, so. We're gonna put some flour in, just like so. This is the half cup, and I really wanna mix it in to that fat, okay? Now, the key is, what you're gonna to want to do is you need to cook this flour until the floury taste, I know that's not a word, but you want that flour taste to be gone. So in order to do that, it's gonna take two to three minutes for that to happen. Otherwise, if you put your liquid in right now, you're gonna have a gravy that tastes like flour. We don't want that. So let's let it cook for a minute, all right? Just like this, mix it around. It should never look like, um, what am I thinking? This should never look like, what is the word? Can somebody help me? <laughs> this should never look like mortar, okay? You want it to look this consistency, just like this. You never want it to look like thick clay. 
and you can see that dark color that I'm getting. I really want that cover when I that color when I make sausage gravy. You want it to turn a little brown, and it's going to naturally happen with the color of the sausage. Okay, everyone, I figured out what word I was looking for. You don't want your flour and butter to look like plaster. Is it? I think I forgot the word already, but it's okay. All right, here are the biscuits. They are absolutely gorgeous. You got to put some butter on them bad boys, just like so. Now, let's take a peek in over here at what we have. This is what it should look like, just like so. And now what we're going to do... You're gonna have some steam happen. Okay, so I wanna pour in the milk. If you wanna use a little bit of half and half, it's okay. You're gonna pour in that liquid until you get a gravy consistency, and you just keep on stirring, just like this in this manner. Okay, when I come back, you're gonna see that smooth consistency that we all love. Okay, everyone, here's the consistency that we have. I do wanna thin it out just a little bit, but not too much. By putting a little bit of milk in it will do the trick to get it to the consistency that you're looking for. Now my secret ingredient, get it in there. Oh, <laughs> woo, this is that flavor right there. Everything that I make in this kitchen, I want it to have amazing flavor. And now what I wanna do before we put our meat in is let's get some seasoning, okay? Some more seasoning. Black pepper, definitely a must. All right, garlic and onion powder. Up to your discretion how much you like. Have you all ever been to one of your favorite restaurants or has someone made or you have made sausage gravy and biscuits? Let me know your story below in the comment section because I love to make sausage gravy and biscuits. It's one of my favorite recipes to make and it's so easy. And this sauce right here is so delicious. You just wanna, you could pour this on a flip flop and enjoy it, you hear me? So now what I wanna do is I wanna taste it. You have to taste everything that you make so you know what you're feeding to your loved ones. Okay, I'm going in. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Make sure you use the onion powder, the garlic powder gives you great taste and that oyster sauce if you can mm. man that's good oh man not to toot my own horn toot, toot. but it is so stinking good all right so i'm going to go in with the sausage and any oils that's on this pan as well get that in there it's all flavor all right so now what we will do i'm going to take my handy dandy spatula I'm gonna turn my heat down so that my gravy doesn't, you know, cook too fast. And I want for this meat to really simmer together in the sauce. When I come back, I'm gonna give this a taste. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. Okay, everyone, I want you all to take a look at the consistency of the gravy. We got nice chunks of sausage and oh, <laughs> Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer and then you all get that bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for your mercy. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your understanding. Give us peace over our mind. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Homemade sausage, gravy, and biscuits. Gina Young style. Make you some. Let's go in. I can't wait any longer. Oh, Ooh, look at this. My goodness. And the biscuit is so crispy on the outside. It's like a pillow in the inside. Oh, oh, mommy. Mm, mm, mm. Take a bite. Let me know what you think about this recipe. I'm going in. Mm. <laughs> mm. Listen here. You haven't had it until you made it Gina Young style. And as always, God bless you all. 
Thank you all for watching. Good night. Man, that's good. Mm-hmm.